let me get something straight. Before I start this video, I want to tell everybody that I am not aiming at anybody. I am not telling people how to run their fucking lives, how to think, how to do a fucking thing, because that's what I do. I do my own thing. As soon as Michael Kendricks gets released, the whole fucking world falls the fuck apart. Okay? And, like, I don't fucking get it. I don't get it. Do you guys know what our defense, a 4 3 D do you guys know what a wide nine, a 4 3 defense is? How many fucking times do we have three linebackers on the field? Really? <clears throat> How many times do we ever have three linebackers on the field? I'm waiting. Only what? 75% of the time, maybe, maybe that much. Most of the time, we have two linebackers. Hence why when Jordan Hicks got hurt last year, Kendricks came in and did all right. <clears throat> then, you know, Hicks get gets hurt again. This past year, Kendricks comes in. A few years back, Kendricks had barely had any fucking playing time, and we didn't trade him. But on the trade block. But of course, of course when a few years ago, the past four years, last year before that, if we need cap space or we need fucking shit, we'll give up Michael Kendricks like it's nothing. But as soon as fucking we, we have a stacked fucking team with one position with a one or two, maybe one, one to two positions that are literally, you know, between maybe corner and, and fucking linebacker that's not as good right now. But with that we're still bitching about it like Michael Kendricks is gone everyone's like shit in their pants like do, do you honestly think dude there is no team out there okay there has been teams like this but there's no team out there right now every position cannot be perfect Paul Warlow tore his ACL Michael Kendricks is gone shit fucking happens you guys honestly think like we're like we got three linebackers on the field the whole time well, that's not an excuse, but let me tell you something. Michael Kendricks is getting fucking old. What do you expect? If they didn't release him now, we won't get $6.1 million in free cap. We're going to have 11 picks in the draft next year. We still got to pay fucking Carson Wentz. What do you guys think is going to fucking happen? Of course, a few years ago, we would trade him for anything. We didn't give a fuck. Of course not. And our team was shit all a few years ago. But now? But now, we just won a fucking Super Bowl. And we got so many, we still have so many fucking pieces on this team. Mostly, almost all fucking positions are pretty damn good. And we're making, we're being little fucking fag fucks about Michael Kendricks not being on the fucking team. Why? We need to get younger at linebacker. Look, Nigel Brown's fucking thirty years old. Jordan Hicks, yeah, Jordan, Jordan Hicks and Nigel Brown are gonna be on the fucking are gonna be in the linebacker spot this year. Jordan Hicks is playing this year. Yes, I know Jordan Hicks is injury prone. I understand that, but we don't know what the fuck's gonna happen. Just say if Paul Warlow didn't get hurt today, he would have got hurt down the fucking road. You guys, it's not like we have a bunch of practice squad guys behind. I understand that some of them are, but not maybe not all of them, but maybe one. Nate Gary, one of the most guys that they, the Eagles never give him a fucking chance. I mean, week, what, week 17 against the fucking Cowboys last year? Like, what, the Cowboys first stringers against us at home and fucking Nate Gary just went through Lel Collins to tackle Zeke in the backfield, almost had a pick six and, and was making tackles all over the field, but the guy never had a chance. They never put him in a fucking game, ever. Preseason was the only time he fucking played. Heavy amounts of fucking reps. That's it. I mean, Joe Walker, yeah, I know. He was real big coming out, and we all, like, he was. He did so good in that preseason a few years back, and he tore his ACL, and then after that, he kind of fell off the face of the earth, but honestly, he wasn't horrible. I mean, J Joe Walker wasn't bad, you know what I mean? Um, you know, but he's got a lot of playing experience like we don't these guys are like not shit like they're not like they don't have any experience 
You got you can't put an all star at every fucking position. Like the shit fucking happens. Last year we should have got exposed at at linebacker times because we still gotta sub people in on a rotation. Not with linebackers much, but if guys need to stay out for a few plays and you gotta put somebody in. If Jordan Hicks stays healthy, we got nothing to worry about. If he doesn't stay healthy, we don't still have nothing to worry about because we have guys that could fucking fill in. We got guys that could fill in. Okay? I, I mean, I don't even want to I didn't want to make this video, but like this fucking fan base, like every time, as soon as like fucking Nick Foles, like Nick Foles, the rumors of him being traded. Then finding out today, Nick Foles actually the Eagles got offered the 35th pick of the draft from the fucking Browns. I'm glad they didn't take it. I'm glad they didn't. Would, would I have taken it? Yes and no. Maybe, maybe not. But it's his last year of his contract. Let him fucking play it out. We need a backup quarterback. If Wednesday get hurt, I wouldn't give a shit, really. But for the 35th pick, I think we got a better deal from this draft from Baltimore moving up to 32, getting Lamar Jackson, and then we get their second round pick next year. That's perfect. Two second round picks is perfect. Plus, we got a first round back. We got a first round for next year anyway. So we're kind of back to normal with the draft now from the Carson, between the Carson Wentz trade and whatever the fuck else we were doing. So everyone's got to chill the fuck out with this shit. Like the Nick Foles trade rumors happened in the offseason. Everyone was like, oh, he's going to go here. He's going to go. I made videos. I made videos on speculation, like where I would think he may be going, where it would make sense. It doesn't mean that I believe in it. It doesn't mean that I fucking agree with it. It just means that this is, I could speculate that this could happen. That's why I make the fucking video. That's why I do this. I do this for new, to give you guys updates and, and give you scenarios and give you fucking news. Not this fucking baby bullshit that this fan base, and I'm not saying everybody, but holy fuck, I never seen little fucking girls in my fucking life. I, I really haven't over a fucking player that everybody wanted out of fucking Philly. He's a $28 million cat. I don't know, he's making, he's got two more years worth $28 million on his fucking contract. Michael Kendricks I'm talking about. I mean, are you fucking serious? Like, how long do you think he's going to be on this team for? I knew he was either going to be gone this year. I thought he was going to be gone last year. I thought he was going to be gone the year before that. I thought he was going to be gone the year before that. And he had a very good year last year. But what are you going to fucking do? Let some other fucking team take his fucking... No team wanted his fucking base salary. Nobody wanted to pay his base salary. It was way too fucking much for a 30-year-old fucking linebacker. Okay? Too much. Nigel Bradham got a cheap-ass deal. And it was a cheap-ass deal because it's... It, what was it? Five years? Four, 30? Whatever the hell it was. It was a very... Very short deal, but there's they, they can give an option every year. So the next few years, if they want to keep Nigel Brown for an extra year, they can add that extra year if they need to. But everyone's got to shut the fuck up. Like, it, it is what it is. What other team in the NFL is in our position right now with all the depth we have in every fucking position? What the fuck is wrong with our fucking team? Seriously, what's wrong with our team? Over one fucking guy, over Michael Kendricks. Yeah, Jordan Hicks is fucking injury prone. I don't know what's going to happen. We will draft a linebacker next year. Most likely. Probably. But for one fucking guy, we're not talking about the quarterback. We're not talking about Fletcher Cox being out. We're not talking about some. This isn't a catastrophe. This is a fucking linebacker that we... I mean, Corey Nelson is coming from fucking Denver. So Howie Roseman's got a trick up his sleeve. Just let the fucking process go. Let the process fucking complete, okay? Let it go the way it's going. Okay, this Kendricks is one of the last fucking people from the Andy Reid era. Like, he's one of the last fucking guys, okay? Like, shit's gonna change. Jason Peters ain't gonna be here much longer. Probably his last fucking year. Shit's gonna fucking happen. Whether you guys like it or fucking not. Doesn't mean we're not getting worse. We're getting better. Just give it fucking time. Just give it time. Like, the Michael Kendricks shit breaks out and everybody's like... Oh my god, I mean, I was like, oh wow, I'm surprised, I'm just kind of surprised it happened this fucking late, I mean, not late, but with OTAs, and you know, I thought it was pretty much official, but they got rid of him, Paul Orlo is another guy that, you know, tore his ACL, he ran to a few people today, tore his ACL, and, and, and it sucked. But Paul Worlow was strictly depth, another depth guy. See, if it's okay to say to bring a depth guy up to a star position, it's fine. But when it's a fucking guy that nobody likes, they don't, they, they, they think oh, we're going to fucking suck at that position this year. It is what it is. I'm not saying we, we can put a shitty guy in there and just plug him in. But I'm saying you've got guys that are competing there, fighting for the spot, for the other spot this year. For the third spot. you still got fucking Jordan Hicks and 
you know, Jordan Hicks so far is fine. So just relax about it. Jordan Hicks, hopefully he stays healthy this year. Fuck, we need to use him even if he's a rental, if he, if he doesn't do too much. Jordan Hicks is an absolute fucking fantastic player. He good, good, great coverage on tight ends. He's fucking amazing against the run. Um, he he's good at giving him pressure. Give it fucking time. We, you know you can't get everything in one fucking year. Like we just won a goddamn Super Bowl and everyone's still bitching. As soon as one guy gets released, everyone's fucking bitching about it. Who gives a fuck? If we didn't get anything, we didn't want to. We couldn't trade him, guys, because no one's gonna take on his fucking base salary. That's why no one fucking wanted him. As much as fucking productive as he was. This fucking team is all about the fucking pass rush, the trenches. That's where we fucking win. The trenches. The the fucking pass rush. What do you think? You think Patrick Robinson's fucking amazing? Because he's not. Pass rush. Ronnie McLeod, is he amazing? He's okay. He's average. I don't think he's the best safety out there, but the pass rush had something to do with it. how many fucking interceptions. The interception that in the Denver game. The interception in the Cowboy game. You understand? Like, the, the pass rush is where it counts. Our D-line is fucking solid with depth all behind it. Fletcher Cox. Uh, Fletcher Cox. Uh, you know, you got you got a player in Fletcher Cox. You got player in Michael Bennett. <coughs> you got Halloween Nada coming in. You got Destiny Vio still here. Derek Barnett just had five fucking sacks with, with two strip sacks last year. I mean, come on now. Made a big play against uh, uh, fucking uh, stri stripping Keenum in the NFC Championship game. I mean, fucking Christ. The pass rush is where it's going to count. You think our corners are that fucking good? You think our corners are fucking shut down? No. They played very well. They played with a lot of fight. There were a lot of ups and downs with these corners last year. But this pass rush fucking helped it a lot. Now, the secondary could be very different this year. But you guys need to fucking relax. Like, the time will fucking come. It's one fucking guy. You're acting like we just lost both for quarterbacks in one fucking game. I mean, give it a fucking rest. I mean, Jesus Christ. Like, are we the, are we the Dallas Cowboys right now with all the holes they fucking have? Even though they say they don't have any? Come on, let's be fucking real. The New York Giants are a big fucking question mark because... They never drafted a quarterback. Shaquan Barkley either could be really good or really fucking bad. We don't know. And if he's good, cool. And they drafted a fucking guard in Fernandez. They don't know what's going to happen with that because they automatically think he's good because he's just a second-round pick. And then <laughs> the right side of the line is horrible. They signed they signed Ogletree. They signed a few guys. You know what I mean? So it's it's you know it, that's a new coaching staff, new coaching. It doesn't matter what your team looks looks like on paper. If you're not coached the right way, you're gonna fucking be a failure in this goddamn league. Okay? And the Redskins, eh, they picked up Alex Smith, paid him a shit ton of money. Paul uh, Paul Rich uh, Paul Richardson, they picked up him um, as for a deep threat, but. Offensive lines fucking banged up and injury prone. It's 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 a toss up with the Redskins, but they're not coming up. Okay, but w look at other teams and look at us and really think about what the fuck you're bitching about before you start throwing bullshit around like, oh my god, we're fine. We need depth. We need to sign some. We just signed Leroy Reynolds, another fucking guy for depth. He's a good special teamer and he played outside linebacker for the fucking Falcons. Not a bad guy. He's not a bad player. Put them in a system. The Patriots could plug in anyone the fuck they want. And they're fucking successful with any player they plug in. Why can't we fucking do that? Why can't we just put somebody in? I'm not saying put in a practice squad guy. But if so, if look, Jim Schwartz and Howie Roseman, we'll see which guy could be in that spot. Jim Schwartz ain't fucking stupid. Trust in his judgment. The shit will come to fucking together. We're not fucked at the linebacker position. Fucking relax. Fucking relax, Okay. God, you pretty much have your starting linebackers right now in Hicks and Braddon, but automatically everyone thinks that Jordan Hicks is already going to be hurt. Maybe you should not think about it and don't prey on it. Let the season roll how it's going to roll and take it like that. That's all I got to say. Shakes what up. Fly goes fly. Peace. <laughs>